Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over how you can find brainstem substructures in FreeSurfer. So this is along with hippocampal subfields, something that's available in version 6.0 of FreeSurfer. So this was released last month at the end of January 2017. And so for this tutorial, we're going to use version 6.0. So the version that was the stable release before was 5.3. And if you want to follow along in this tutorial, you're going to have to download 6.0. So when you open up your terminal window, it should say 6.0 and not 5.3. And if you look at the release notes, this 6.0 version has hippocampal subfield generation, which was updated from the 5.3 version. And then it also has a new capability of brain stem substructures generation. I don't think that was available in 5.3, but I can't remember actually. But anyway, I'm going to follow along the tutorial on this page. So I will put a link in the description box below. It will give you output that looks like this and I already ran it on one subject yesterday so I'll show you guys what that looks like and I'll show you how to run it for a new subject and also how to get volumetric data from it as well. So like I said, I already have 6.0 downloaded. If you guys were using 5.3 before and you upgrade to 6.0, you're also going to have to use or download a MATLAB runtime from 2012. And also when I tried to run it, I had to download a specific version of Java as well. So the nice thing about FreeSurfer, the 6.0 version is if you don't have those downloaded on your computer, it will tell you the lines of code directly on the terminal if you try to run this code for how to download the MATLAB runtime and also how to download Java so if you guys haven't done that yet it will explain it it will give you like a little error and explain what you have to do in order to get it to work and it mentions it here as well in the tutorial okay so to get brainstem substructures you have to add to your recon all tag the tag brainstem structures so if you haven't run recon all all on your subject yet you're going to want to do that and then just add the brainstem dash structures tag or if you already have run a subject through the free surfer pipeline then you're going to remove the extra all tag and then just put brainstem structures for my machine my laptop it just took a couple of minutes extra to run the brainstem structures tag if you've already run recon all and also I checked and you can run re this tag from 5.3 data so if you have recon all all on a subject that you did 5.3 reconstruction on then you can still use it for the 6.0 brainstem structures tag so I already did it for one subject let me go ahead and do it for this BTC subject which I have not done it for so we're going to put recon all the name of the subjects folder which is BTC and then brain stem structures and we're going to let that run like I said it should just take a couple of minutes and while that's running I will show you guys the output that I got from the other person that I did it on which was my subject STT so if you want to view what the labels look like then you can open it in free view and the code example is here so I'm just going to cd to my subject directory and then the subject name is uh, STT and then MRI and so we're going to open up Freeview with the new.mgz file and then I'm just going to copy and paste this code for the color map okay so that opens up Freeview and if you can see there are basically four substructures that it recognizes so there's the red the yellow the blue and a little bit of green here so the colors look a little bit different from the pictures here but that doesn't matter so it has here in the description what the four substructures are. So it gives you the medulla oblongata, the pons, the midbrain, and the superior cerebellar peduncle. So you can see that the colors are a little bit different, but they are the same four structures. Okay, so I'm just going to pass through it in the coronal view so you guys can get an idea of how it's segmenting the brainstem. Okay, so the terminal is finished running. It tells you in seconds for some reason how long it took, but if you look here, it took about 18 minutes, and it says it finished without error. So this tag will produce three extra files in your MRI folder, so you can check the files once they're done. So if you go into the MRI folder, you should see three brainstem files, and they are there. So the two files are two label files and one volume files, so you can get morphometry data from the brainstem. And it also has a 
bash or shell script that you can do if you have multiple subjects. So I'm going to test that out because I have two subjects now that have brainstem data. Okay, so this shell script quantify brainstem structures is in the bin of the FreeSurfer folder. It's here and there's also the same script for hippocampal subfields. So to run it on my laptop, I have to do sudo first, just to make sure I have permission to access the folders, then the bash script. The first argument is the output file, so you can just put whatever name of the text file that you want to be outputted, and then it tells you to put the subject directory. That's optional if you have already defined what the subject directory is. So I have two subjects in my subject directory that have the brainstem data, so that will write morphometry data from my two subjects to the same text file called BS for brainstem. So I'm just going to move that to the desktop to show you guys what it looks like. So that has five fields. It has the four substructures and then the total volume of the whole brainstem. And it has the two rows for the two subjects that I ran. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show in this video. And maybe I will redo a hippocampal subfield video since the last video I did was for 5.3. I haven't actually tested it on 6.0 yet, so I might make a video for that. But anyway, that's it for this video and thank you guys for watching.